there is a new Da Vinci update. Once again, there are some amazing new tools, maybe for two nerds out there. For the rest of us, the regular users, there is nothing. Today's video is proudly sponsored by my future job, the one that pays in hopes and dreams. Ability to encode Panasonic. What kind of loser owns a Panasonic camera? Who cares? Boring. Windows users are not important. Boring. This was the big issue for every user, trimming 8K clips. Looks like the developer is doing the updates just for his friend. Given this update opportunity, I want to point out a few things. Keyframes are very common thing. In order to manipulate the keyframes, you need to open the keyframe window, struggle to locate them in this complex thing, and then you need to open the spline editor and struggle more to make the animation smoother. What about making it possible to click in the keyframes on the timeline and move them like in every other software? Also, is it that hard to be able to right click on each keyframe and select to smooth it out? Audio modifier. There is already one in the Reactor plugin. Why not to make a better build in one? Proper text extrude without the need of complex 3D setup. Instead of the stupid warper node, give us a usable puppet tool for animations. A time displace node that is based on the luma value of the given image, you know where to look for the inspiration. The ability to transform a text to path, so we can easily make a handwriting animation. Shatter effect so we can finally make a simple breaking text animation. And the must have for a software that started as a color grading tool, a good and usable film emulation tool, it's very annoying to have some plugins that are made in the basement of a virgin nerd to be able to give a better film look than the Hollywood's number one post solution software. I could list all the small things missing, but I'll save that for when my new job offer comes with a huge paycheck.